Hi, little friends. I'm so excited to be back with you again this week. You know, as September rolls on and school gets farther in, things are probably getting a little harder, whether you're at school or whether you're at home. And today we're going to continue with Joseph's story. And I'm here in my bedroom with my pillow and my favorite stuffed dog because I'm in a little bit of a timeout. And today we're going to learn about time out for Joseph. And even when it gets hard, Joseph remembers that God has a plan for him. And you know what? God has a plan for you too. Do you want to know why? Because he loves you. God loves you and he has a plan for you even when things get harder. Let's check out our story and see what God's plan is for Joseph today. For the party is to be an ice cream scooper. So I thought I better start practice scooping. I have this big tub of yummy vanilla ice cream to use for practicing. Oh, and this big spoon. Let's scoop. Man, this is harder than I thought. This ice cream is really hard. And this spoon isn't working. Do you see something else I could use? The ice cream scoop? Great idea! Here we go, let's scoop. Wow, this ice cream is really, really hard. 
And this scoop isn't working either. I know what I can try. I can use this shovel. Surely it'll scoop this hard ice cream. <sighs> Not even the shovel can scoop this hard ice cream. I might have to wait for it to soften up a bit, but I want to practice scooping now. Who? Who? Hey, it's Ollie. Hello, Manny. Who? Who? Having some trouble, are you? Hi, Ollie. I sure am. I told Kai I would help him with the ice cream sundae party plans by scooping the ice cream. But the ice cream is much too hard to scoop. I've tried everything. That does sound hard. It's true. I have a story about someone else with a hard thing to do. Just listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Okay, Stormy Jane, you can come out of your doghouse now. I know it was hard to wait in there, but the rain has stopped and you can come out and play. Good girl. Oh, hi friends. I'm Carrie the dog walker and this is my best dog, Stormy Jane. I have a great story for you about someone who did something very hard. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. This is Joseph. Joseph trusted God's plan. Joseph worked at a big palace in Egypt for a man named Potiphar. Stormy Jane, you're not Potiphar. Get out of the story, silly dog. That's better. While Joseph worked at the palace, he tried to do a good job. If Potiphar told him to get food, Joseph got him food. If Potiphar said the floors needed sweeping, Joseph swept. Joseph did whatever Potiphar told him to do, and Joseph trusted God's plan for him. Then one day, somebody said Joseph did something very wrong. Everyone say, oh no, oh no. But Joseph didn't do it. Joseph was sent to jail anyway. Oh, that would be very hard. Joseph didn't do anything wrong, but he was put in jail. Now at this point in the story, we might wonder if God really had a plan because this was so hard for Joseph. But Joseph knew God loved him and Joseph knew God was always with him. And so even though things were hard, Joseph trusted God's plan. Do you wanna hear what Joseph did even though it was hard? Well, while he was in jail, Joseph helped the other people in there. The guards saw him doing such a good job, they even put him in charge. Joseph trusted God's plan and God's plan for Joseph isn't done yet. There's a lot more of Joseph's story to tell. I love this story because it teaches us that we can trust God even when things are hard. Because God loves us, God's with us, and God's got a plan for us. Oh, hey Ollie! Ollie, tell me, who has a plan for you? God has a plan for me. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who has a plan for you? God has a plan for me. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. Bye. So there's your story. It's all true. Joseph was in a hard place, but he trusted God's plan to see him through. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow, what a great story. Joseph was having a hard time, but he knew he could trust God's plan. Joseph knew that God loved him and was always with him. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did say got it, get it? Got it! Good! You know what? This ice cream is still too hard to scoop, but I can be a helper while I wait and put up the rest of these decorations. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. 
Jeremiah 29 11. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Jeremiah 29 11. Hi, I hope you really liked that story from Ollie and his friends. Joseph had a pretty tough time out. I'm hoping to get out of time out soon and out of my bedroom. But remember, no matter what, when times get hard, God has a plan for you. Let's practice our memory verse. For I know the plan I made, says the Lord. Jeremiah 29.11 Let's do it one more time. For I know the plan I made for you, says the Lord. Jeremiah 29, 11. Even when things get tough, God is thinking and loving you. Have a blessed week. Bye-bye.